Up till now I have created my shampoo bottle but the bottom of this shampoo bottle is open so I need to close this. For this I need to use fill tool and you can find it under insert menu under surfaces and this is the fill tool and remember that we are under generative shape design environment. Fill tool asks me to have a boundary so I need to create a boundary around the edge of this shampoo bottle. For this I go to insert menu, go to operations and select boundary this is out of my capture area if you don't see this and now i'm going to select the tangent continuity because i'm not going to have limits here so i select this edge by clicking on the edge you can see the boundary is going to be created around the edge of this shampoo bottle i click on ok now this is the boundary that i have created now i can go to insert many surfaces and select the fill tool now it asks me about the boundary, I select this. Now I do not need to uh, you know, modify this selection. I click on OK and I can see that this is close the area. So I hide the boundary, I don't want to see it here. But the next thing that I want to do is to join these two surfaces together. So I go to insert menu again under operations, you can find join. Again, you cannot see it in your capture, in my capture area. But whenever you select the joint, you can select the surfaces. This is the first surface. This is the second surface. And now I click on OK. You can see that the two surfaces has created the joint for me. OK, I want to have some modifications in this bottom area. I want to have a sunken area here so that it makes a little more, you know, a prettier surface here. So let's select one of the planes the x y the y z plane is okay here i go to sketch area uh to create the sunken area i select the arc tool i draw a very small arc like this this is going to be an arc i add some kind of uh constraint here I want to make sure that this is about 30 millimeter in radius so I click on OK now you can see that I have I already have a coincidence here I don't want to have this coincidence I want to have kind of symmetry so I select this select this and select the horizontal axis and add a symmetry that's much better than coincidence now I have this I want to select constraint tool select this uh, center of coordinates and select the arc and I can see that this is too much I want it to be about 5 millimeter and I want to have it in the other side so I click on swap location and we can see that this is here now 5 millimeter is too much I make it 3 millimeters so I click on OK and I can see that it is cutting the end of my shampoo bottle now it is going to be used as a curve that is for my sweep. So I exit my look, uh, my workbench. Now that I have this curve, I want to have another profile that goes and create the actual sweep here. For this, I need to have a plane and I need to have a profile for this. I click on plane here. Now this type of plane is going to be normal to curve. So I select normal to curve. It asks me about the curve. This is the curve. And it asks me to specify a point on this curve. And I can see that I have two endpoints. This is going to be the point that I select. And I can see this is created. So I click it, select this plane that I have just created, go to the sketch environment, and click here. Now, if you see that this plane is in the other side, I can click on normal too, and you can see that it swaps the location. But this is here, so I'm not. Uh, I, I do not have to go to the other side. So again, I need to create another curve. So again, I click here and create a curve like this. And this curve is going to be about 30 millimeter again in radius. This is going to be moved this way and I need to have a symmetry. So I select this point. Select this point and select the vertical axis and go to create a symmetry here like this. Now it's created like this. Let's shift a little bit and see if this is working just fine. 
Now, the only thing that I need to have is to have a coincidence between this and the, you know, uh, the, the point of the other curve. So I select this arc, press control button and select the end point of this curve. Now that I have selected these two, I can release the control button and select the coincidence. Now you can see that it goes there and I have two sketches right now. I exit my workbench. Now that I have two sketches, I can create the sweep. I go under insert menu. Under surfaces, you can select the sweep tool. And by going to this, again, I need to select the profile and I select the guide. Now I click on OK. There's a nice sweep here. And now that I have the sweep, the only thing I want to do is to use trim tool. But before this, let's hide the sketches. I don't want to see this. And hide the plane as well. And hide this sketch as well. Now that I have this, let's go to insert and under operations menu, you can find the trim tool. And trim tool is gonna be, oh, let's find it here. It's out of your capture area. So I select the trim tool and I should select the bodies. This is one of the bodies, the sweep. And the other one is going to be the join. So I select it and you can see that I have uh, a trim like this. So I click on preview, you can see that the preview doesn't show me actually the result. So I want to have this part removed. I can have two sides because I have selected this. One side is the, uh, you know, the side that I selected first, the sweep three. And if I click on this multiple times, you can see that which part of this is going to be removed. Now, this is okay for me because this part is going to be removed. If I click on the other side, you can see that it turns the join on and off. So I click on preview. And if it is okay for me, I click on OK. And I can see that I have the sunken area created under this shampoo bottle. Now, this is uh, a beautiful shape. You can change it as you wish. But I guess this is okay for me.